my committees. <laughs> Hi, Serafina, Lynn. Where is he? Yeah. He was my type writer. He was putting in all the names 
for me. I appreciate it, even though he was giving me a heart attack. <laughs> he was working in reverse on me, but he got it done for me. And I also want to thank my spell checker, and that was Aunt Doris. Thank you. If it wasn't for Aunt Doris, we would have had a lot of wrong names. Thank you, Aunt Doris. That was it. All right. All right, Finn, you keep quiet now. No, I'm only kidding. Anyway, what we like to do before we end, we end the day on, on a good note, we want to have somebody from each of the sisters, family member, come up. I believe, hopefully, everybody knows this, or you come up and you think it when you're up here. To say, tell, tell a little something about each one of them, about your, either, whether it's your grandmother, your mother, your aunt, your sister. Just a two or three minute blurb on something that you remember that somebody may not know in the room. And I think that would be really nice, you know, for kids, younger kids especially that don't know and never met, you know, Grandma or Effie and everybody else that's up there. So we're gonna we're gonna start with Aunt Grace, okay? I think uh, Billy, her son's gonna come up. She's the oldest. She's the oldest, yes. She was the oldest. I don't know everybody knows that. And that I'm the oldest cousin. <laughs> At any rate, uh, she was a very hard uh, 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 she, she was a very heartwarming good, good. and really uh, brought us up, the uh, three of us. At a very young age, we were not our father. My father died when I was eight years old. Uh, my brother was 10, my sister 12. But she devoted her time and all her life to us, and everybody else for that matter. She, uh, she's, uh, she was such a kind woman, and really uh, showed it in her life. There's not much let's just say about her, other than the fact that bringing us up, we appreciated it. She heard you. Yeah. yeah. Take it easy. I'm not coming yet. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so uh, I'll make this quick. She, everybody, everybody here, I'm sure, knew her, except the younger ones, of course. And they would have really appreciated having her as an aunt, or a great aunt, or whatever. So, uh, in closing, I say, God bless her soul, and for God bless the rest of the, the sisters. They were all very good. Thank you, Bill. Very nice. All right, the next one up is my grandmother, Grandma Effie, Sarah Dina. Um, Marie, you gonna come up? Dad, you gonna come up? Come on. Two minutes. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Everybody knows my mother. Oh, why? Because everybody came to my mother's house like it was a resort for the summer. Meantime, when I went back to live there for a couple of weeks after she died, I couldn't believe how small the house was. And where in God's name she fed 35, 40 people is beyond me. We would have 12, 15 people in a little kitchen and all the grandkids, there was 10 of them at the time, in the laundry room. It, it, she was so phenomenal in terms of being flexible. She wasn't a lovey-dovey, she wasn't kissy-poo, but she did everything for everyone. She was very, very kind, and anything went. Anything, she actually apologized to me when she was dying, that she couldn't be around for my kids. And really, it was <laughs> tough. <laughs> Put over for the whole weekend. They didn't just come over to eat, you know. And uh, it was the fact that all the sisters combined together, and they all worked together. And you, you'll never see that. I don't think you could ever see that again. And that's how they managed to take care of all these people without any strain or hustle or bustle. They were they were good. All right, but my mother was tremendous. That's about it. Thank you, guys. All right.
right, so next up is Aunt Martha. Come on up, ladies. Ladies. Ladies, yeah, there's, there's more than one here, okay? I know. Oh, you got... It's Wednesday. That's on purpose. Yeah, well, I kind of like this. <laughs> We were, the, we were the smallest, I guess, from the family. Um, we're all that's left now. But I know that she's really happy because this was her life. Her sisters were her life. That's all I remember. Um, she had to kind of hard too because her husband was blind and she had to take care of him. She worked until she was like 75, 76 years old. Um, she was always a hard worker, but she always, always made time for us, always, um, till the day, <laughs> until the day she died. Um, yeah, <laughs> of course, you know, her birthday wasn't really December 8th, it was December 7th, but because it's a, it's a saint's day, it had to be December 8th, so we never knew when her birthday was. <laughs> And of course, she also died on St. Patrick's Day, so another saint, so, because they were all saints, all of them. They were, I mean, from what I remember by, of everybody, going to Staten Island, always, oh my God. Yeah. It was, like you said, a resort. And, and going down to Florida, I mean, that was my grandmother's, she loved going down there. She couldn't wait to go down there with her sister. She just loved it, but she always felt bad because she wasn't, she didn't have the house. <laughs> you know, she would feel bad, but. She, that, that's just the way she was. Um, she was grandpa's eyes always. And of course my mother and my, my uncle. Oh. Gone too soon too, but um, but they're all but they're all yeah. But family was everything. Thank you, great job. Very good, Christine. Very good, very good. All right, so next, is up, next up is Aunt Rachel. Who we have speaking, Aunt Dar? Oh, Aunt Dar is not Come on, Pete. You gotta come up with her. She's only got one leg. You gotta make the other one. I right, good reason. I'm talking, he's holding the sign. My mother, no. <laughs> Prior to getting married, she was a seamstress at New York. After marriage, she was a homebody. She didn't have hobbies like they have today. Her hobby was cooking and ironing. She, she would iron socks, she would iron underwear, she would iron towels. That was her thing. And Aunt Effie used to yell at her and say, come on Rachel, put the iron away, we gotta go shopping. <laughs> but she loved Sunday dinners with her family, loved to make the gravy and the meatballs, and she loved being with her family and the grandchildren, and she thoroughly enjoyed gathering with her sisters all the time. She just enjoyed all that. And, and, oh, the coffee pot, the minute you walked in the door, the coffee pot went on, the salami sticks came out, the cheese, the wine, then you had your coffee and cake. But, <laughs> and chocolate milk for the kids. But we think of her often, and we miss her, and we miss all our aunts. We love them all dearly. Just one thing about it, Rachel, always remember, no meant yes when it came to food. No, I don't want any more, yes, you're getting it. You didn't, you didn't have a choice. That was Aunt Caroline, too. That, oh, yeah. Caroline, or? I think in the video. No. I couldn't top that one. 
All right, so the next one up is going to be to say a little something about Aunt Caroline. Who's coming up here? Patty and Joseph. Patty and Joe? I know, but we wanted it. Okay, that's why we didn't want to do it last. Because Aunt Virginia is still with us. Well, my mom is Caroline, and my brother is Joe. Our mom is the youngest, and then our ginger is second to youngest. Um, these two Dolly sisters were always together. Um, they spent most of their life living together. Um, it, that is such a typical picture of them. I, I it's. It's, it's amazing that, that, that they're, they're, I don't know, that they captured them in exactly the way they've lived their life. Um, I don't know, I have a picture of Ginger. Here we are. Um, she's on my wall every day and I look at her and I bore her a kiss. And uh, I brought up, I was told to bring props. <laughs> This is my mom years ago, um, and my dad is here. The king in all those pictures was my dad with the crown on his head. Um, my mom is probably looking down today and saying, that pest, if she'd just be quiet, but uh, I, you know, it's me. All right, here, I'm gonna give it to Joe because I'm sure he's got that. My sister was always the shy one. <laughs> you know, you talk about Aunt Caroline. Aunt Caroline and Rachel, Aunt Rachel were from the same floor. Yeah. Yeah. You know that if you told them you were coming over and you told them one person was coming, 20 people could have fed with the food that they gave you. Yes. And not only that, they wouldn't let you sit there and eat. They would put food in your mouth. <laughs> Pascarellis know that. Everyone knows that. Uh, I really can't, I, I, I'm choking up and, and I've done this many times with the family and I just, I, I, my throat's just closing up because I can't do it anymore because I miss, I miss them. Thank you. No, it's gonna Jack and Jill are going to say a little word about Aunt Just for the record, we're the wrong generation yes. to be standing here. Oh, we're way too young. Yeah, way, way too young. Way too young. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. I obviously am the youngest of the first generation of these wonderful ladies. Okay, I am the baby. Then we go. I see there are some intruders among us. And then we go to this generation, which are Jill and Jackie. Joanne, who is my first cousin, is not with us today. We miss them dearly. Um, but they're our next generation. Uh, and, and then there's so many more that come after us. But they are a different generation than what you've seen up here. Yes. Yes. OK. It's safe to say that these six women, they broke the mold. They're, they don't exist, people like this anymore. No, they They're classic, one of a kind. The way they thought, the way they lived, it's nothing like any of us live now. It really isn't. And anyway, God bless them. May they all rest in peace, but my 97-year-old grandma, who is still going, all right, I'm done. <laughs> she is definitely going. <laughs> and still singing five foot two, like you can't even imagine, word for word. She can't remember me at times, but knows every single lyric to that song. It's pretty incredible. But Jill and I have been very lucky. Our kids, I, I wish that for them. We grew up in that carport. We washed every dish with Susan and Patty. We knew, we just loved that whole family experience. We loved coming to Staten Island. 
As we crossed the bridge, I said, we did this every Memorial Day, every 4th of July. This was how we spent our weekends, and we loved being with the family. I, the cautious took us in, like, we slept anywhere and everywhere we could. <laughs> and, and Vinny entertained us at every moment. <laughs> but thank you. And Grandma, she's here. She, she made some videos that I will put on the family page. I put one of them up there, but I will put a few. A month ago, she was in a very different place than she is right now. She really has you know, really taken a step back over the past few weeks. But a month ago, in April, well, two months ago now, it's almost June, she was really, really good. And she sang, she mentioned every sister's name, and she spelled Kasora with an A without fail. That's it! So, we love them, and you know, we're really lucky to have had this family, the way they started this all for us. Okay. Thank you, Bill. I just want to thank everybody for coming, for the nice response we had. I just want to let you know a few things. The all these hours, there's nobody else here but us. One o'clock, we're going to be doing a group photo picture. We're going to only be using one camera, and everybody will get a copy of that picture. Yes, in fact, I will mail one out to family members, and then they can distribute from there. I first also want to thank a few people for helping me. I want to thank my t-shirt designers, <laughs> I want to thank them. I want to thank Jill for some support when I really got crazy and I would text her for some information and she would get back to me three days later. But I appreciate it. <laughs> I want to thank him for allowing me to invade his office at any time, disrupt the whole thing because I needed something copied or I needed something done. Thank you, Peter. John. John, of course, I disrupted his office many times, going in there with Penny. <laughs> we just disrupted the whole office. Everybody got involved. I don't know if you want to know this, John. Angelo was a witness, and he was like, you're still here. <laughs> so I want to thank you very much, and also for your support and help. I know a lot of things so for you, too. I want to oh, thank Jill, because it was Jill's idea of color coding that So I want to thank her. And Karen, I don't know if anybody saw her with Karen. But it was her idea also to do the pictures, which thank you very much. I wanted to hang on to that one. <laughs> and if you go here on the side, there's a slideshow of pictures that everybody sent in, and they're all different pictures. It's a little hard to see, but you'll, if you stand there long enough, you will see it. <laughs> I want to thank my son and my son in law. I want to thank my daughter. I want to thank Sarah. Was my and and with be, be be put up with me. Who put up with the way? He had a hearing complaint. Really. Or maybe they end earlier. I have two coaches. Uh, Asha. The team, and we'll get that going. And then we have a few. Go see Patty, she's the sign-up for it. Thank you for everybody for, for doing that. And just, you know, I know the older people know, but the younger kids, my kids, this is why we're here, because of them. There's, there's no other reason. Like I said before, nobody's here. Everybody's zero if they're not here, right? So that's why we tried to do this. Last year, Sue wants to kill me because I brought it up and wound up doing it. I wound up getting sick, and she did 99.9% of everything. With some help, but she did most of it, so... But it's just great that everybody's here, and we can remember that. And thank you, everybody, for coming up and saying a little something. The reason why I wanted to do that is for the younger kids that don't remember our grandmother, our aunts, Aunt Rachel, all these people that were just the best things in the world. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you. I think 
because she likes being the youngest. <laughs> All right. God bless the Castor family, right? Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Very, very much. All right. The best, the best, the best. And who's this from? Peter Giello. All right. Thank you. Nana Grace's grandchild. Nick had a great time. Nick Crescetto, Bill, Nana Grace's grandchild. Am I a good time? Oh, I had a great time. I could have a better time with better people. So I was really, I'm a boyfriend of the family and I got to be along with this great time and oh, I was blessed to be here. Yeah.